Now at 6, a lesson in hate. Another local Jewish community center is targeted by a bomb threat. The threat, which forced the evacuation of the Poznak Jewish Day School in Davie, was unfounded. But a rise in anti-Semitic hate crimes here and other parts of the country are real and disturbing. We have live team coverage beginning with CBS 4 with Gary Nelson at the Poznak School. Gary? No question, the bomb threat against this Jewish school here in Davie today was troubling, even more troubling. It is part of a wave of threats of uh, anti-Jewish violence that is sweeping the country. Hundreds of children and staff evacuate the Poznak School and Jewish Community Center in Davie after a bomb threat was called in about 9.20 Monday morning. The school immediately sending out a blast tweet saying, attention, David Poznak Jewish Day School received a bomb threat and both the day school and the JCC have safely evacuated. The school also sent out blast emails and phone calls. Parent David LaPate used two words to describe it. It's terrifying. He was not alone. Oh, we were very scared. I got the phone call and I came right away. There was a meticulous search that found no bomb. The all clear sounded after about two hours. It is not a credible threat. And as I think most of the public knows that these have been going on around the country for the last month or so. There were bomb threats Monday at Jewish centers in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, and 13 other Jewish facilities across the country. CBS reports law enforcement believes it's a coordinated effort involving individuals and robocalls. The Anti-Defamation League reports more than 70 bomb threats at Jewish facilities in Florida since the first of the year. The ADL issued a statement saying, we condemn and are outraged that hate and anti-Semitism continues to target our community. In Davie, one evacuated student worried the next time might not be a hoax. It was a little scary, to be honest. I know, like, I know the risk of going to a Jewish school. Like, there is going to be stuff that happens. Federal and local law enforcement vow to hunt down those behind bomb threats and other acts of hate and vigorously prosecute them. Many uh, national and South Florida Jewish organizations have issued statements today railing against the anti-Semitism that seems to be permeating the nation, some attributing it to a divisiveness that seems to have fallen across the country, and they called on national and local leaders to speak up quickly and loudly when bigotry raises its head. We're live in Davey, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you.